Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today we're going to do a complete Oriana guide on mid lane. I promise you the next video will be about Tulia, but I'm trying to do one Tulia video, one other kind of video and so on. Now, for this champion I'm playing with Eri, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence and Scorch and for secondary biscuit delivery, Timer Tonic and Armor and Ability Power. Now, uh, we're talking runes. For runes you can play with Phase Rush, you can play with Book and all of them are good. I believe Eerie is the simplest one and Phase Rush is the safest one. The Book uh, is from Inspiration Tree. I believe it's one of the most difficult ones because you need to actually know how to use the summoner spells and when to use them. Now, that's about runes. For summoner spells uh, you should play with whatever you feel like it's most useful in the current matchup. Now I want to go for the kill because I really want to outplay this. So I'm playing with Ignite most people play with probably <clears throat> teleport or exhaust or even barrier or stuff like that so it's not mandatory to go for ignite as I did and I missed the first Q and yeah you can go for any summoner spell that you think it's worth in the contest as in this matchup for someone who's probably new best, best combo would probably be barrier and uh, face rush and maybe I don't know some defensive item maybe it is because they might feed but as you can see i'm already poking her heart and ooh, i'm getting a level two gank okay go 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 go, go. and she will flash if she hits if he hits q then oh. But what is he doing? Okay, it's okay, it's okay, okay. I, I want to continue the tutorial now, sorry for the pause. She used Ignite, she lost a lot of CS there. It's okay. Um, now, we talked summoner spells, basically go for whatever makes you the most comfortable. But you can go for basically anything that uh, that is relevant. Anyway, let me just get this to CS real quick and play safe around this, okay. Uh, we're going to continue this tutorial with items just in a second because there might be oops There might be an Elise to be around as you can see I'm trying to poke her as much as I can before level 6 and I'm trying to make her lose as much CS now for items I'm starting I'm playing with uh, As you can see with Dorans some people start with corrupting so that's another way of playing and you need to buy Lost Chapter eventually, and that should be the first core item. And some people upgrade Lost Chapter into GLP, other people other people upgrade it into something else. Okay, I'm seeing a list, maybe she will flash, maybe not. It's okay. Now she's level 3, it's not a problem. I don't know what, why she's playing like that, but she just gave me a free kill. Anyway, uh, so yeah, for items you should go for Lost Chapter because that's an extremely strong item to start for most mid laners actually. And then you should go for Ludens or GLP based on the current context again. It's the same as on Summoner Spells. Oh my god, I lost many minions there. It's the same as on Summoner Spells and as on uh, Runes. Basically, go for context. So if you need slows on someone, if you feel you're too oppressed, go for GLP and that's for safety, okay? But I kind of hate the active on GLP. I'm not building on Talia either. So you could actually pick whichever makes you the most happy, okay. Okay. Come on. So now I have a blue buff as well. And for some reason that Kiana wants to fight a lot. And that you shouldn't do that as a mid laner, okay? It's, it's not, it's not what you're supposed to do. Be careful, please. Anyway, after you finish Ludens, you can go multiple paths, okay? Depending on needs, again. Shork shoes, Sork shoes, and Vision words, and maybe Red Trinket in some context are a must. Those are extremely important things to get. I'm seeing Fiora, because someone put, okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, I got it. No, back off. 
Okay, so uh, you got you go for sword shoes, and then we're interested in other items such as an orb into Rabadons, an orb into Zonias, Morello into Zonias, and stuff like that. As you can see, I can get boots now. I can get even a word, but I still have a biscuit that's about to come, so I'm not getting a potion. Okay, so that's a that's a good start. Anyway. Uh, so after Ludens, you're interested in either directly Rabidons if you're fed enough or after Sork Shoes or so. Oblivion Orb into Moral Nomicon if <clears throat> they have lots of heals, so if they have Soraka, Vladimir, stuff like that. I always like to repeat that, get the Moral Nomicon because a lot of low elo, lower elo games are lost because people have no idea what to build. So it kind of triggers me. And I'm gonna ping now that she misses. So for items, you kind of have an idea now, an understanding. Uh, okay trying to lose as few CS as possible here. I'm still farming sometimes sloppy when I focus on talking, but it's okay, I guess. I'm not sure what this guy wants to do. They are still here, they are not. Okay. Yeah, let's do this one. I don't think that she's missing. Anyway, so, uh, Ludens, Sorg Shoes, Rabadons, uh, Orb, sorry, Rabadons, finish, uh, finish the item into more Nomicon and then perhaps move for Void stuff or Zonia. Zonia is very very strong item that you could get. Now here is another free kill. For some reason, okay. This is so chaotic though. I still have no damage because I'm on Orianna but... Now we got two kill there's because bot lane came to it. I really hope Lee Sin lets me take this. Obviously he didn't. Why would he? But yeah, uh, Zonia should be eventually completed somewhere there because it's an extremely strong item for any mid laner and I get it. I get a stopwatch, that's a trick, I get a stopwatch after Orb and Rabadons or between Orb and Rabadons and then I complete Zonia only after I maybe use the stopwatch because sometimes you don't use it and I try to, you know, finish Zonia based on needs so if they focus me a lot, if they really really want to murder me, I believe they jump on me, I'm fed, things like that, Zonia should be up on the list as a priority, if not, then it should be a later item. Back off. So yeah, that, that's about items. We gotta talk a little about uh, about abilities next. I really want to do that as well. But first, let me get this and this. Okay. So you see vision words. I'm gonna buy more of these. Oops. My bad. Too fast. Okay. Didn't have enough mana. So more vision words whenever you can. Excellent. And so um, the next thing, abilities, well her passive is basically a ball that's always on you and your auto attacks stack, so if you do two auto attacks on someone, you're gonna deal more damage to them, as far as I'm concerned, two auto attacks uh, basically, basically enhance your auto attacks, as you can see there, every two auto attacks you deal more damage, and apparently that can, it's a bit intish. Anyway, for spells, auto attack a lot as you can see, especially if you have Eevee as I did and abuse those auto attacks as much as you can because that's your main source of damage currently and until you get fed so you can do that sweet ult on someone it's not that... Oriana doesn't have that much damage, okay? Early on especially. She has poke, she has survivability with her movement speed, with her everything else but you gotta stack that passive, you gotta understand how it works, and you gotta farm bad. You gotta farm good on Orianna. It's not even hard, because because you have this uh, ability spam, as I can see, and I can do. Oops. Uh, that Fiora is missing again, so I'm going towards the bottom side of the map to put a word here. And I see that vision word. And I know I put this here so that I'm not. Uh, I'm not cornered by that, but I would have had flash for her. Anyway, anyway, her Q throws a ball and moves it towards the direction basically, deals some damage and stays there, okay? So if you go out of the, this range, out of this yellow thingy, it will bounce back to you. W, movement speed and damage on arrival. E, it's a simple 
shield that also when the ball is on you adds passive armor and uh, magic resist when the ball is attached to anyone so right now i have 10 extra armor and magic resist because it's attached to me and that's that's an extremely strong thing to have and that's why i'm saying that's why i'm actually saying uh, that oriana is a simple simpler safer champion compared to others okay and you can see now my damage starts to be much stronger than before and i could have ulted there oops one more auto here for plate okay and you can see against someone who's not that experienced as this uh, kiana is i can actually do pretty well obviously at higher elo some people might know how to play against you and i still have vision here and i could actually murder her but i don't have enough mana i have mana only for curing ultimate anyway her e it's a shield abuse that shield whenever you can and i'm going to get another vision ward because they took that away from me and i'm going for abaddon's because i'm so far ahead right now as you can see in farm as you can see in kills and assists and so uh her ultimate you basically uh do that shockwave amazing thingy and deals a lot of damage and we're going to talk combos too but the most important thing that you can do to surprise lower elo people and even to mean to high elo when they have no flash is flash alt okay so that's the thing that i like to do most i got some amazing flashes on multiple people with ultimates there and it always it always did fine uh don't flash ult for a single person unless that person has a lot of gold on her so a big bounty and i want to go there but really this bounty yeah i really wanted that bounty so we can move around here I can actually go here and ult her. If I get an ult on her, she's gonna die instantly. But as you can see, I'm already far, far ahead. And at a certain point, you'll be able to farm so easily with this champion. But this is the main thing that you gotta learn. Okay, so... Let's see how we play this. She doesn't have enough damage to do anything. Okay, she flashed. Another flash, I don't even need to chase this anymore. But basically, this is how you do uh, your spells. Uh, again, a very good combo to practice is that flash ult. So basically, join, join the practice tool, put some dummies, do flash ults, do spam flash ults until you understand it. Like put some two or four and then try to think about how you could hide from from a bash and surprise someone if that bash is not worth it. Uh, try to do those combos with flash hold and try to get that. Her main combo is auto attack, auto attack, Q, auto attack, Q, auto attack, auto attack, Q, W, stuff like that. So basically I can even show you like that. Auto attack, Q, W and then E back. Her E actually deals damage on the way back as well so it's a good tool. Now. I don't want to talk much about matchups because Oriana is quite versatile in most matchups and itemization, as I specified before, is quite important. But you gotta you gotta understand those as well. Uh, most of them are simple, but you gotta be careful against assassins, against some of them, some against some long range matchups. You can easily go for corrupting potion so that you don't get so much uh, damage towards your head. Uh, but in most matchups, you should be fine if you play. Uh, as I said, defensive at the beginning of the video, specified to your needs. So if they have an Kiana, right, and you're at the beginning, you play with armor like this, you maybe go for face rush or eerie because it gives an extra shield. And you try to you try to do these things. Now, I know she has ult. I'm really not scared about it. And I will flash if necessary. I don't know why <laughs> that was the most silver fight. First of all, I should have not flashed there. Second of all, I should have just do a Q there. Okay, I'm just too focused on talking and specifying what you should do, so it's okay. Anyway, as you can see, I got another vision ward, but I didn't put it down. That's another mistake, because you should always put those down. Now, I have gold uh, towards my Rabadons. I, I don't have gold for another needlessly large rod, but again, your main combo QWE back 
the ball to you or flash Q ultimate okay instantly pulverize a team fight you I would practice it but I believe this is a stomp so we don't have a real team fight but you gotta understand that that is the main common now whenever I have the next flash I'm gonna try to showcase it to you and really this champion is not so much about combos this champion is very much about ball control and I'm going to talk about how to control that ball you always have to remember the positioning of your ball because compared to most champions you have just a champion and that's you okay if you think about Hammerdinger then you have turrets as well which you need to stand nearby but if you think as Orianna you and your ball must be a complete unit okay you gotta be the same thing the same I know both things compose Orianna okay it's not like Hammer turrets which are a bit auxiliary early on and then right stuff like that Okay, I'm not sure. We can actually do a sweet wombo combo here if we're careful, but I'd rather go back. Don't go, I'm gonna die. Okay. And Leona is very much dead there because she has no flash. And she should back. Lissy might die there because I don't have any mana. And they don't let me be in peace. Your W gives you movement speed also, so I told that before. But I want I want that blue. Going towards that blue. Hopefully that Lee will let me take the blue. What? Dude. No! Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Okay. Okay. We good. We good. We good. We good. <laughs> Trying to have... A, to not give like Lee Sin just did a huge shutdown towards the enemy. You should be careful on that. So. Whenever I have the next flash, I'm gonna try to show it to you. And again, I didn't put that vision word, I will put it down. I'm gonna buy another one. So I have for when they take it. But again, f uh, a good combo as Oriana to surprise people is flash. Remember, your the ball is on you, okay? So keep the ball on you. Flash, Q towards the enemy team, instant ultimate into W, and then E back, okay? And then if they jump on you after the combo or they are healthy enough or they flash away, you should have a stopwatch or you should try to back off a bit or to zone out. You should do that combo whenever you hit at least two people, okay? Remember. So you get their their support and jungler might be not that important, but if you get their mid and ADC, then you create you create a very good advantage towards yourself. So I'm not sure. I need to keep an eye on my team, but also that Fiora is annoying. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna put the vision words here. And in 30 seconds, I actually have a flash alt combo which could end the game. But again, one of the most important things as Soriana, besides being one with the ball, is to understand is to understand how to actually okay oops how to be one with the ball and how to farm and how to do that flash hold combo so most things are about that again vision control macro micro stuff like that it's always important in every game and you gotta understand that and buy vision words as I did and focus on that I can flash hold if it's in, but I don't want to because I'm low HP but okay that's fair I come I will speak about it in a second. Let me get towards a safe location. But you should also be careful, as I am right now, to not give free uh, free bounty as this listen usually does now. I noticed that he tends to do that, and Fiora probably is not far ahead to capitalize on the kill there. But listen tends to int, and 
Listen, players in general, when they have a bounty, they tend to win. So you gotta be careful on that. See? Another bounty. So two bounties and this random. But yeah, this is my Oriana guide for Season 10. I think I spoke about build. I think I spoke about everything that was needed. So build, summoner, spells, runes, abilities, combos. We spoke about some tricks you spoke about the fact that you gotta farm a lot by vision words maybe switch to red trinket sometimes and you gotta use that ball to zone objectives okay i want to talk a little about that because i didn't have time the video ended too quickly so yeah so in towards the zone control thingy you have to put that ball into a team fight so you have to separate somehow the enemy team and you gotta wait after that so that they join the fight and you can ult and get a lot of people besides the flash combo so you gotta always try to hit the ult because if you hit two people plus with the ult so if you can get minimum three people actually you kind of win the team fight especially if you're not extremely behind try to also keep a, an eye on farm to have that then um, to have that eight to nine cs per minute because that's a high elo farm but if you have a low farm as Oriana, you're not going to get those items, you're not going to get those skills because Oriana is kind of weaker, Leon, as you can see, especially for someone who's probably a beginner, if you are. Uh, it's going to be harder to deal lots of damage. It's not that flash champion. That flash champion is only when you do the ultimate on multiple people, okay? So that's the amazing thing about Oriana. So if you want to actually be good with Oriana, you gotta try to focus in the practice tool on farming a lot because her auto attacks are a bit different. You gotta practice that ultimate and you gotta do a full combo a bit to understand so QWU, QWE back to you and auto attacks in between. You gotta understand positioning because she's not that safe of a champion and every time when you get attacked you gotta put the ball on you. I mean she's a safe champion compared to others but she has no, fl uh, no dashes, she has a small movement speed kit and small shield but besides that you can get easily camped after your flash is down so you gotta be careful. I've seen a lot of Oriana inting. So this is the main stuff that you gotta focus on and I guess this is my guide for Rihanna and see you next time guys, goodbye.